Not sure if you've seen this insect in your cannabis plants, but corn earworms can be a major pest. So in this Debaco University video, I'm gonna go over how to properly identify and control them in your cannabis plants. All right, let's go over how to identify and control corn earworms in cannabis plants. And this is kind of what they look like. Hopefully you haven't seen them, but if you have, this video should provide you with some helpful information. So first off, the description of them. Well, corn earworms is one of the most widespread, common, commonly damaging insects in much of the United States, affecting both field crops as well as vegetable crops, all in addition to hemp. Most damage is done by the late stage caterpillars, which are present 10 to 14 days after egg hatching and feed for a week or two before being fully grown. So kind of at this stage. Often there will be a granular form fecal kind of like pellets or frass left around the feeding site that can be used for diagnosing an injury. This is also what the adult corn earworm may look like there. Um, and this is kind of what the larval stage looks and that's what the egg looks like. Now the proper identification of that, at least looking at on cannabis, the adult uh, moths fly at dusk and evening, although a few are sometimes active on overcast days. On other pl plants, the moths lay most of their eggs on the leaves or in corn, the green kind of silk area. So it gets the name earworm. Uh, on hemp though, eggs are likely laid on the outer areas of the plant, particularly on the younger leaves, such as those surrounding the flower buds and developing seeds. And that's why we see the kind of caterpillar up here feeding. And here we also see the damage to the bud region. Now, as far as what can we do uh, regarding this particular pest? Well, for the management of corn earworms in trust, was the only product that provided really effective control. Unfortunately, this is the one product that was evaluated by, uh, this is Vermont, and is not allowed to be applied on hemp. So it's the one that they really looked at, it does show some effectiveness, as we can see clearly here, uh, but not certified. So hopefully that was the time of this publication, maybe things have changed. Check your local restrictions and current restrictions at that. The Insecticide and Trust is Army certified, however, so that's a plus. And here we can see the mean corn earworms per um, 10 plants and Trust definitely doing a great job at reducing it. Corn earworm damage rating also was reduced by Entrust, so that is definitely something to look at to see if it's available to use in your particular area or regulations, because it might be a first step at an effective control for corn earworms on your cannabis plants.